Keratosis. It's a measure of whether data are peaked or flat. Relative, of course, to normal distribution. So, data sets with high kurtosis tend to have distinct peaks near the mean and decline rather sharply, and they also have heavy tails. So, our curve here in green really fits that category. We have some long tails, we have a sharp curve, and a sharp peak, and then a rapid decline. Okay, so that must mean that this curve here is an example of high kurtosis, whereas this blue one here, which just really doesn't uh, go up that much, must be an example of very low kurtosis. So when we're looking at kurtosis, we want to know is the data peaked or is the data flat? And that's what we're measuring with kurtosis. Now, the low uh, data sets with low kurtosis tend to have a flat top, like we're seeing here, and that's going to be near the mean rather than a sharp peak. See how we've got a flat top here? See how we have a sharp peak here? That's what we're talking about with that. Now, uniform distribution would be the extreme case, and that would look more like this. Let me get a different colored marker here one second. But if we had uniform distribution, we just pretty much have a flat line right across our graph, right? So kurtosis is talking about how far away we get from uniform uh, distribution at the peak of our graph. And that's basically what we're talking about. Pretty simple, right?